I crucify my flesh. I crucify myself, my ego, in the mighty name of Jesus. My body is for the Lord, and the Lord is for my body. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 My name is Pastor Greg Van Gorp. Amen. And um, I uh, pastor Harvest Time Church down here in Savannah, Georgia. Amen. And I've written a book uh, called Cancer Must Die. And um, unfortunately, I don't have a copyright here to hold up. Amen. But you can get the book at Amazon. Just type in uh, Cancer Must Die, Greg Van Gorp, and I will come up. Thank you, Lord God. And cancer is a defeated foe. Here it is here. Praise God. Praise God. You can get it on Amazon. Yes. Amen. And um, it must die. COVID must die. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. And I got a, a report that my niece is fighting COVID. So right now we rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we will give you the healing report on that. Amen. Because my God is a healer yes. and he faileth not. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we are going uh, into the book of Daniel. We're in the book of Daniel. We're in chapter two. I'm going to regress a little. Amen. I'm going to, uh, for today, I'm going to start. Amen. Um, at verse 20, Daniel chapter 2, verse 20. Amen. I know I, I already went over this, but this is so powerful. You need to claim these scriptures for yourself. I, Daniel, answered. Verse 20, Jan Daniel chapter 2. I, Daniel, answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. He changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. And Lord, we call this done in this nation, Father God, in this nation, Father God, that you set up all the governing powers in this nation. We thank you and praise you, Father God, and you rid this land of all corruption, Father God. We thank you and praise you, Father God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, Father God, and we call it done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He changes times and seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom unto the wise. And knowledge to them that are that have under that no understanding. He reveals deep and secret things. Lord, we thank you and praise you. You are the revealer of secrets, Father God. Glory, 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 glory. He reveals deep and secret things. Thank you, Lord God, that only He can know. Thank you, Lord. He knows what is in darkness. And the light dwelleth with him. In him, he is light. Glory to God. And it spills out of him. Hallelujah. And it gets onto us. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's our Lord. He's a light spiller. Amen. He can't contain the light. Hallelujah. And it spills out all over us. Hallelujah. And then his children play and splash in the light, just like they do in the little kiddie pool. Hallelujah. Just basking and loving and praising and rejoicing before the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. I thank thee and praise thee, O God of my fathers, who has given me wisdom and might and has made known Amen. Unto me, now what we desire of thee. For thou hast made known unto us the king's matter. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But what a powerful, powerful scripture that is. I, I got to go back. Amen. He reveals. 
Oh, listen to this. He changes the times and the seasons. Hey, Amen. You might be in a hard time, a bad time, but God will change it. Worship him. He'll change it. He'll adjust it. He'll move it. Amen. He changes times and seasons. He removeth kings, set up kings. Hallelujah. And we're going into an election. Amen. And Lord, we thank you right now that the governing force of this nation, especially in the inner cities, is changing, is changing. And we call it done in the mighty name of Jesus. He reveals deep and secret things. We thank you and praise you. Lord, you expose everything that needs to be exposed, Father God. Hallelujah. Lord, you expose all corruption. All corruption has got to go. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you and praise you because you know in the light dwelleth with the Lord, with him. Hallelujah. I thank, I thank thee and praise thee, O God of my fathers, who has given us wisdom, amen, and might, and has made known, hallelujah, he's the Lord that heals. Praise God. Unto me what we desire of thee. For thou hast made known unto us the king's matter. Hallelujah and spare the lives. Therefore, Daniel, right? He went to, we read this yesterday. Okay, let's go to uh, 32. Now, let me see here. No, go down 29. As for thee, O king. Thy thoughts came unto thy mind upon thy bed. Okay, so now he's talking to the king. What should come to pass hereafter? And he that revealeth secrets makes known to thee what shall come to pass. All right, so God has revealed to Nebuchadnezzar the future. But as for me, this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom that I have more than any other living, but for their sakes, that shall make known the interpretation to the king, and that thou mightest know the thoughts of thy heart. Thou, O king, sawest and beheld a great image, this great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee and before and, be, and the form was terrible. This image head was of fine gold and breast and arms of silver and belly and his thighs of brass, his legs of iron and his feet, part iron and part clay. And that's where we're at right now, right? We're at the ankles. <laughs> and the feet, part iron and part clay. And thou sawest, the stone was cut without hands. Praise God, which smoked the image upon his feet that were iron and of clay and break them in pieces. When the iron and the clay and the brass and the silver and the gold broke in pieces all together and became like chaff of summer, the threshing floors and the wind carried them away, that no place was found for them. And the stone smote and the image and became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Hallelujah. I don't know if you all can hear me. I'll turn this up. Hallelujah. There we go. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father God. And this dream, and the dream, and we will tell the interpretation before the king. Thou, O king, art of, thou, O king, verse 37, Daniel chapter 2, verse 37. Are they king of kings? Hmm. The only king of kings I know is Jesus, but okay. For the God of heaven 
hath given thee wisdom, power, and strength, and glory. And whosoever the children of men dwell, the beasts of the field and the fowls of the of, he, of the heaven hath given unto thy hand, and thou hast made thee ruler over them all. Thou art this head of gold, and after thee shall arise another kingdom inferior to thee, and another and a third kingdom of brass, which shall appear, which shall appear bare rule over the whole earth. Oh, another kingdom of brass, which shall bear rule over the whole earth. And we're going to get into the uh, the bear, so the bear of Russia. So the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdue all things, and as iron that breaketh these shall it break in pieces and bruise. And whereas I saw the feet and the toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, and the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with the miry clay. Amen. Iron and clay do not mix. They don't mix. <laughs> and, and secularism and Islam do not mix. And the beginning of the year, they're uh, all planning a meeting, the leaders of the world, amen, in Davos, Switzerland. That's where they all meet. Y'all need to be in prayer, amen. And they're planning a um, world economic, military, everything, reset. They say they're going to reset the entire world. But we bind that up. Those are their plans. But we bind up their plans in Jesus' mighty name. It will not happen. Amen. Why? Because we're in prayer. Prayer and fasting, especially during these days. These are the days of, um, it was just Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah. Right? So these are the days of awe that we're in now. So do a little bit of praying, do a little bit of fasting, you know, and seeking the Lord, spend your time. Hallelujah. Seeking the Lord. That's what we do. My wife and I, we spend our time seeking the Lord. Hallelujah. And the toes and the feet were part iron and part clay and the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And Whereas you saw the iron mixed with the miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. Goodness gracious. They shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. Mm. What does that mean? But they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Goodness. And in the days of these kings, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. Hallelujah. And the kingdom shall not be left to the other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. For as much as thou sawest the stone that was cut out of the mountain without hands. And that it breaketh in pieces the iron and the brass and the clay and the silver. And the gold. And the great God that made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain. 
and in the interpretation is sure. Amen. So the dream is certain, the, in, the interpretation is sure, and the Lord has revealed to Nebuchadnezzar the end times, the end times, the times that we're in now. Hallelujah. Then the king, Nebuchadnezzar, fell upon his face and worshiped Daniel. <laughs> That's hilarious. King Nebuchadnezzar fell on his face and worshiped Daniel and commanded that they should offer an obligation and sweet odors to him. And the king answered unto Daniel and said, of the truth of it is that your God is God of God and a Lord of Lords and a revealer of secrets, seeing thou could reveal this secret. Amen. So if you're born again, if you're spirit filled, there are people and they need the secret of their heart revealed unto them. Hallelujah. And right now with the people listening, we loosen. Hallelujah. The secrets the secrets of their heart, Father God, to be revealed to them that they can go forward in you and possess the land that you have for them to possess in the mighty name of Jesus. Because if God is for you, who can be against you? Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Well, good morning, Jamil and Heather and Alice. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Now let's rock it. All right. He's the king of kings, and he's the revealer of secret. He sees thou, seeing thou could reveal the secret. And the king made Daniel a great man and gave him many gifts and made him ruler over the whole providence. Amen. When you know God on that kind of level, it will raise you up, amen, to affect the kingdom of this world. Hallelujah. And made him ruler over the whole providence of Babylon. Ah, when the spirit comes into action, amen. This is all through the Bible. Where the children of God are raised up. It happened to Abraham. It happened to Isaac. Jacob wrestled with God. Amen. And after he wrestled with God, his heart was changed and he came back. Amen. And he had favor throughout the rest of his life. God's favor. Amen. Hallelujah. It happened everywhere Paul went. And Peter, right? They beat Paul up. But by the end, God would show up and the authority of the city would turn into the hands of Paul and, and the whole islands would get saved. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. And the king made Daniel a great man and gave him many gifts and made him ruler over the whole providence of Babylon and chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon. So now Nebuchadnezzar's smart. He's got Daniel ruling <laughs> the providence. Hallelujah. Wisdom is now ruling the providence. Amen. And Daniel requested of the king, he set Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego over the affairs of the providence of Babylon. And Daniel sat at the gate of the king. That means he controlled what came in and what came out of the city in authority. Praise God, praise God. And that's what the kind of God we serve. We serve a God that wants to raise his children up and move his children forward in all areas of life.
Amen. Chapter 3, Daniel chapter 3. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and breadth thereof six cubits. And he set in the plain of Dura in the providence of Babylon. So this image was 90 feet tall and nine feet wide. That's a tall image. And what's it? what does this image look like? It looks like that man that he saw in the dream with the head of gold. Only this one, I think, is all gold. <laughs> so he copies it, right? He copies the image. And they're together, the princes and the governors and the captains and the judges and the treasurers and counselors and sheriffs and the rulers of the providence to come to the delegation of the image which Nebuchadnezzar, the king, had set up. Then the prince and the governors and the captains and the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, the rulers of the providence, right? Everybody of any importance at all is there. We're gathered together into the dedication of the image of Nebuchadnezzar, the king, had set up. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Verse 4, and then heralded and cried aloud, to you it is commanded, O people, nations, languages, that at what time? You hear the sound of the cornet and the flute and the harp, the sickles, the song tree, the, the, I don't know what that one is, and all kinds of music. So they're going to have a big shout, right? <laughs> you, and you hear the music that you fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar, the king, has set up. So here we are. We're ready for another confrontation, right? We just had one, right? Lives were, lives were spared because Daniel received the interpretation of the dream. Amen. God, the revealer of secrets. And now here again, Nebuchadnezzar, right, is moving forward in pride because he doesn't have anything to do. Because Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are ruling the kingdom. <laughs> so here we go. Here we go. So because of that, he builds a great big statue. Amen. He's bored. Right? What else am I going to do? Make a statue of myself. All right. And those who have fall down, right, set it up. All right. And those fall down and worship at the same hour. And Oh, wait a second. And those falleth not down and who do not worship at the same hour shall be cast into the midst of the burning fire. Wherefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, the flute, the flute and all, all kinds of music, that the people and the nations and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar, the king, had set up. This will be done again. In Revelation, the beast, all shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the earth. All shall worship the beast. Verse 8. Chapter 3 of Daniel. Wherefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews and spake and said to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the psalm tree, the Dole, summer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. 
And who falleth not down and worship the image should be cast in the midst of the burning furnace. And there are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the providence of Babylon. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. See, they're ruling the city. God raised them up to rule. Amen. And give the Jews favor. <laughs> okay. Have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. And King Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded them Shadrach to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said unto them, is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not serve my gods. Ye do not serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up. Now, if you be ready, that time, hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the suckle, the psalm street, amen, the music. You fall down and worship the image, right? It's going to be done again. And worship the image of the beast. I saw where they're making guillotines. <laughs> the Bible is right on, <laughs> right on score. I'll tell you what. They're actually making guillotines and planning to cut people's heads off. All right. And worship the image, which I have made well. But if you worship not, you shall be cast the same hour into the midst of the burning furnace. And who is that God? So here we go, right? What's this all about? He's claiming he's God. And who is the God that's going to deliver you? Out of my hand. Amen. Verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, We are not careful to answer thee in this matter. In, in other words, we don't have to even think about it. If it be so, our God whom we serve, is not able to deliver us from the burning furnace and fire, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image, which thou hast set up. Amen. Yes, first first Peter one seven. Amen. Says worry not about the fiery trial that you are experiencing. For in the day Jesus will come and deliver. That's first Peter. One seven. He is our deliverer. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and his form and his vistas, his his personhood changed. He was demonically enraged. <laughs> and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abed, Abednego. Therefore, he spake and commanded that they should heat up the furnace. Seven times more than it was already heated. And he commanded the most of the mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, in their hoses and hats, and their garments 
and were cast into the midst of the burning furnace. Wherefore, because the king's command was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire slew these men that took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's one high flame. Amen. The flames of hell, though, did not touch Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste and said unto his counselors, Did we not cast three men into the fire? And they answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loosed, walking in the midst of the fire. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, God. And they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we magnify your name. Time to take a praise break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise your name. Praise your holy name. Lord, we give you the glory. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God. <laughs> You got to love it. You got to love it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Praise you, God. Praise you, Lord. God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Came forth. The most I got. Come forth. Come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth in the midst of the fire. And the princes and the governors and the captains and the king's counselors gathered. To, I bet they. And saw these men whose bodies, the fire, had no power, nor was a hair of their head singed. And neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. So now you see the entire authority of the kingdom, of the ruler of the known world at that time being turned over. Amen. And Jehovah being proclaimed as the one true God. And the time is coming quickly now where Jesus is going to be proclaimed as the one true God. Lord, we give you the glory. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. Then Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's world. Goodness. Hallelujah. The king's world has changed. And yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any God except their own God. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces. <laughs> Notice the authority. The authority is reversed to the children of God. And their houses shall be made a dunghill, 
because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the providence of Babylon. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the glory. Lord, we give you the praise. Lord, we worship you and magnify you. So we start with secrets, right, being revealed. Hallelujah. In the inner man. And we end up with a show where principalities and powers are cast down and doing so, amen, and his children standing up for their Lord God. And in doing so, they win the entire providence, right, to Jehovah to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. And Lord, we thank you and praise you, Father God. Lord, that your authority, your might, your dominion goes forth, especially during this election, Father God. And Lord, your kingdom come, your will be done. And once again, you show yourself to be God, to be God, and to be Lord. We thank you, Lord God. Your kingdom come, your will be done. In all these lives and the people listening to me and all over the world, go forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.